I'm like thinking, doing the math in my head, yeah, like, when did the game come out? <laughs> definitely hasn't been, I think it's been like a little over four, four and a half now. Yeah. I was like, all right, Pluto, uh, you know. It's the pre-Johns, you gotta be like set up and ready to go yeah, if yeah. you lose early. It's like, yeah, I haven't played in six months. Game came out four months ago, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta have them on deck. Yeah. So Pluto versus uh, Jaw Daddy? Yeah. Jotty? Jotty, there we there, go. There's no daddy in there. Yeah, uh, I definitely saw the 2D, and yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, so far, oh yeah, yeah, Pluto breaking through, putting, you know, it's not daddy, maybe sunning him just a little bit, uh, although he's trying to make a little bit of a run back and even up the percentage. Yeah, Pluto already on the Ivysaur, he got his early damage on the Squirtle. Now we're gonna see the Razor Leaf thrown out here. Safely do that vine look to the ledge here, but uh, Jari doing a really good job keeping the pressure up. But just like that, he almost gets the sweet spot on that vine whip. Yeah, kind of a missed input or a missed recovery. Dolphin slaps on stage when he could have just grabbed the ledge, put himself in a terrible position, lucky to hold on to a stock. Oh my god, Ivy's are so far off stage and the uh, vine whip able to grab on from so far away. Yeah, he gets that little bounce as well. And ooh, there's a downer, but a beautiful tech by Jari. Wow. I would not have teched her there, I would have died <laughs> so fast. He had the DI towards the stage too yeah. that as well. So really good stuff on Dottie's part. Parry on the Razor Leafs here, but the Nutra sends him right back out. Hopefully that did not snipe his jump, and yes, it did. Pluto coming up with an early lead, and Johnny trying to answer right back, gets a grab and puts him right back off stage. It kind of feels like Pluto's been living out there for the most part and just kind of surviving as best he can and able to you know, capitalize on some opportune moments, but Jotty able to take that stock and clean it up right there and bring it right back to even. Yeah, only 12% here for Jotty's trouble. There's the Nair out of field, but he was setting out the Razor Leafs, and again, man, just calling out these jumps, doing a really good job. Tried to keep the aggression going, but Jotty swinging back with the Lucina. And it's uh, Pluto right back off stage, and just kind of sticking to the game plan, the wall that is Lucina, that sword. You know, if you, it's hard to control the stage if you just can never stay there and never land oh, the yeah. entire time. Oh, there's the up air pressure coming out from Pluto, but Shotty gets around that. Puts Pluto right on the ledge here. Oh, the Charizard, I don't think he can make it back, no. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I was like, am I about to see the uh, the new Pokemon Trainer tech? And I didn't, he just, uh, ended up dying for, for his trouble on the stage, unfortunately. Yeah, he probably wanted to do like a jump back on the stage and do like the player bliss or something of the sorts, but unfortunate there. Poor Pluto now on his final stock here, and Jari still sitting on that two stock. No jump, has to go for the Zard, and the spike to follow. Jotty gonna go ahead and clean it up with that down air. Yeah, he just, you know, looks like Pluto had enough gas to make it back to the ledge, but down air does not care how much gas you have. It just puts you right back into the blast zone. Yeah. Solid, you know, solid gameplay overall from Jotty. He was behind a little bit, but had Pluto off stage for practically the entire game, and Cleaned it up nice and easy, and he's sitting up 1-0. Pluto's going to have to break off that six-month rest if uh, he's going <laughs> to battle back to take this one. Yeah, the Lucina making it very difficult for any character, really, offstage. Such a great um, character for Wall of Pain strategy. The forward airs, the back airs, they're, they're so quick. They take up so much area. They're disjointed as well. Uh, it can be really, really difficult if you're fighting a Lucina that knows what they're doing offstage to so just get back to the ledge. Just kind of point yellow stick in the uh, direction of the bad guy and yeah. make sure they don't come back. Yeah, but right back to it, right back on Battlefield. Pluto just, you know, looking to adapt. Maybe, you know, sometimes when you haven't played for a while, you kind of just shake up some losses too. Again, I haven't played for a long time. Just let me get back into it. And I know he had a long drive coming in, so I'm not sure how much warm up Pluto even got coming through. Is the side be the whip or not? Two clutch here, but oh, there's the jab block. Oh, it's gonna finish off with the third one. He probably wanted to cancel that third jab into some sort of like smash attack. Oh, but man, I feel like he's gotta switch off the Squirtle soon, using it for the invulnerability, and Ivysaur able to get back to the ledge here. As yeah, Jotty firmly in control of this match, you know, it's one of those unfortunate. Oh my god, what a dolphin slash on the on the counter option. Uh, yeah, Pluto overexerting himself with Bear on shield and the dolphin slash coming out. But, yeah, yeah. But what I was saying is kind of, you know, it's, it just kind of seems like, oh uh, man, <laughs> before I can even get any thoughts out, Jotty is really making Pluto think about going back into retirement <laughs> really quick. Yeah, I mean, able to uh, already have Pluto on at 60% here. Really good stuff from Jotty. Pluto getting back to the ledge here. Ooh, I like the down air. Attacks on some great damage here. Pluto looking for an answer. The fine whip does get. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, so close. That down air definitely would have been the stock if he connected it. 
that's a, that's a frustrating thing. It's so tantalizing to us. You always want to capitalize on when your opponent makes their mistakes. Oh, there's a shield break, though. Speaking of mistakes, oh, there's one right there. It doesn't uh, matter. You can make all the mistakes you want there, Kajadi. I guess not all of them, but you can make a pretty good handful there. Uh, nonetheless, man, Pluto has a long hill to climb for sure. Three stocks to one, and Jody's defense looking really, really good. And a lot of it just kind of seems a little self-inflicted on Pluto's part, just kind of banging on shields like it's his job a little bit too much in some of the neutral situations, and just solid out of option play, or out of shield option play coming out from Jody. And this is definitely red alert. Uh, it's going to be a difficult time for Pluto to make it to the summit and take it back, so it might be an early loser's trip for him. Maybe for landing four there. Tries to get the uppers going. Jody, not going to get hit by any of this. Oh, really good there from Pluto. Didn't cross up all the way to the left there. Mix it up, fade it to the right. Able to get the back throw here, but Jody still fresh on two stocks in the four there. Will close it out. 2-0 here for Jody. And <laughs> no player clamps, but Pluto was already putting up the fist bump as soon as he was off stage because he knew that forward air was coming. Yeah. And sometimes the game's not fair, but Lucina is always fair, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be like that, man. <laughs>